So scheduled for 10 rounds here for the WBO European heavyweight title, Eric Pfeiffer, who has got the gold gloves on. They're both wearing black shorts, so gloves the best way to separate these two. Pfeiffer wearing the gold, Redzovic wearing the blue. Redzovic with a decent looking record, but it is very paddy. The 21 wins have come at home and in Germany against no particular opposition. I took you through a couple of opponents that he's faced in his career so far. Pfeiffer... He's in the building stages, the learning stages. Six fights and six wins. And they're just looking to try and step him up. At 32, there's time left, particularly for a heavyweight. But as is the, the modern way, shall we say, they will look to try and find out where he's at sooner rather than later. That WSB experience always helps with hitting the ground running as a professional because you're used to the five three minute rounds smaller gloves no vests no head guards of course that's been the case for a good while now Ritovic is looking for an overhand right there didn't look to land it five foot having a look here just looking to get on the jab pecking with the jab a bit looking to lead with the left hook then followed it with the right hand that was a decent shot Ritovic taking his feet back in a straight line Still been quite circumspect corner. So a stable mate of Sven Thornley. Just inching forward with that front foot there, Pfeiffer, and then looking to try and send that right hand down the middle to the body. Again, just creeping forward. He's not really wanting to commit too much in this opening round. Looking for that left. Good right hand there from Pfeiffer and that just rocked him back onto his heels and he needs to try and follow up here, was looking for a kind of screw shot there with the right hand that nearly got through, Redzovic definitely felt that one and Pfeiffer could maybe just put it on him a little bit more there right towards the end of the round, final 10 seconds leading off with the left hook and caught him and again I'm not sure if he's going to get too deep into this fight Adnan Redzovic Opening round for Eric Fife, he just warmed into it. So into the second round and it was Pfeiffer who finished the round strongly at the end of the first Pfeiffer with those gold gloves, Redzovic with the blue, just crunched that right hand down the middle, 
cracked Redovic on the chin and he was definitely rocked back from that one. He did look to try and follow up Pfeiffer, but he didn't want to go too crazy. He didn't want to go too gung-ho too early. And looking to be nice and busy at the start of the round here. Leads off with the hook, which he does every now and again. A lot of jabs and then a good right uppercut off the back of them. They weren't quite reaching, he just moved in behind them. There were four or five of them and then stepped in and made good contact with the uppercut. But Redovic took that well because it was solid. And he's just looking to open up himself every now and again, Redovic. And I think five for Will will be keen on that. I think Redovic is maybe realising that the chances of him just being able to fiddle his way through 10 rounds here are not great. And he may as well give this a crack. Look if the uppercut again there, five foot. Didn't quite pull it off that time. But the way he just inches in there, he's in range five for a lot of the time. Redzovic. He's letting his hands go on the cage, and that's a better looking jab from Pfeiffer than a decent right hand. Redzovic turned his back on that one a bit. Dave Paris just circling. It looked like Redzovic could have been in a bit of trouble there, but he's managed to get away from that corner at least. Uppercut was perilously close there from Pfeiffer. Redzovic looking to throw back, so Pfeiffer does just have to be a little bit careful here at times. He's got him going a couple of times now, though, Pfeiffer. And again, he just dipped away to his right hand side. He's looking for that uppercut. As often as he can here, Eric Pfeiffer. That straight right hand down the middle is the one that seems to be giving him most joy, though. slipped by very, very quickly. Five, who was just looking to turn the screw a bit in that second round, started a little bit quicker. That's good. Nicht jede Hände starker, verstehst du? Die vorbereitet starke Hände. Relax bleiben, okay? Lange Linke, kurz und sofort. Okay, so Kombination. Schluss machst du stark. I think what he's telling them there, Bulem, Master, is just to try and put his punches together in combinations a bit more. And this was the right hand that got through. He's just teeing it up with the jab there, and that was a good shot. And Redzovic, he took that well. But it's that straight right hand that causes the problem. That was the one that gave him difficulties in the opening round. And again, there he's off balance as he took it. A touch of gloves between the two. And we need to see Pfeiffer go through the gears a bit here, I think. Adam Redzovic is an opponent that he should beat. And to be honest, he should look good doing it. And he has looked decent so far. And maybe looking slightly more aggressive at the start of the third. He doesn't want this one to, to go on too long. He doesn't want this one to go down the track and end up getting to be a bit of a difficult watch. It's, it's important to be to be an attractive fighter to watch, particularly in the heavyweight division. Just look to feint with that front foot a bit there, five foot. Again there, just throwing a feint in, seeing if he can open Redzovic up, leading off with a left hook. Was in range for it too. Left hand straight down the middle, got through from Redzovic, but he immediately caught a couple back from five foot. Let him go, let him go.
just managed to block the, the right with the, the shoulder there, Redzovic. He knows that he's got to try and do some work himself. Got to try and cause some kinds of problems for Pfeiffer. He can tend to just pull back in straight lines most of the time. Jab to the body, always a good shot. Redzovic has got to jump on him here, this is his chance. Pfeiffer, this has not happened to him in his young pro career so far. And he won't know where he is at the minute. This will be an altogether new feeling. And this is his chance here. The 42-year-old from Sarajevo, this is his chance. Just needs to land another one if he can. And you can see from the eyes there, Pfeiffer, he's not totally got it all back together yet. Looking for that right hand again there. And he catches one on the inside there, Pfeiffer. He's got to be careful. Last few seconds of this round, uppercut on the inside for Redzovic and Pfeiffer. It's going to get through this, but this has been, well, this has been a horrible last minute. Nice uppercut again, and he goes back to the corner, shakes his head. He's frustrated with himself, but from absolutely nowhere, Adnan Redzovic is caught in there, and he is caught in good. Now, the corner have just got to try and keep him calm, I think. Yeah, okay. Just telling him to breathe. They just need him to to get through this. Well, let's have a look. And there's that right hand that comes over the top of that lead left hook. He does like to lead with that left hook and you saw the legs just go there. Lazy left hook. It caught him quite high on the head, I think, around about the temple and that, that can short circuit you. That's why you saw the legs just give out like that. He's got to be careful now, Pfeiffer. As I mentioned, he does like to kind of wander into close range to get his work done, and that's fine. But you are in range for your opponent when you do that. So a touch of gloves there. Redzovic with a 10-8 in that round, so that'll level it up in rounds anyway. Pfeiffer won the first two, and he's looking to come out aggressive here, Pfeiffer. There's that right, he's looking for it again. He's got to keep that left glove up here, Eric, so much. It's a high risk. A punch at the best of times. And he's trying to keep that guard a little bit tighter here, which I would say is a good idea. When he jabs there, though, keep it long, good jab. Stay out of range, set up that right hand with the jab, not just kind of shuffle in like he did there. Gumshield's come out, I think it's Redzovic's, Dave Paris will get that one rinsed off. For a big, tall fighter fight, he's mega tall for a heavyweight, but he's 6'3", 6'4", he's got to try and use that. Box. Reaching for that right hand a bit there, Pfeiffer. Wasn't quite there for him. Nice little jab there from Redzovic, looking for a left hand. Good right hand there from Pfeiffer, just knocks him back onto his heels. And he's taking these okay, Redzovic. It's strange. Every now and again when Pfeiffer lands, he, he almost looks like he's about to come apart, but he gets it back together quickly. There's that right hand. He's always looking for that right hand. Every time he sees Pfeiffer throw that left, particularly if it's a wide punch, particularly if it's a hook, He's looking for that right hand, just to sneak it in over the top. There it is. And this is an interesting fight. The gumshill's come out again and the referee might just have a little word about this because he needs to keep it in. Next time, one point, okay? Well, there you go, Dave Paris telling him next time that happens, it's going to be a point and it's coming out because his mouth's hanging open. He's not spitting it out but it's his responsibility to bite down and keep it in. That's a good looking one-two again from Pfeiffer, and he tried to pile in with another one.
Radzovic up to my right hand side just taking a, a weary looking seat on his stool there he's halfway through this and he's given a good account of himself so far good to see if that knocked back onto his heels he has been a few times as I said every now and again he looks like he's about ready to go but he manages to suck it up that one where he was put down, that was the third, but since then he's, he's managed to regroup, so I would have him a point ahead of the third, but since then he's, he's managed to regroup, so I would have him a point ahead after four rounds, and if he stays on that one two, doesn't need to take any real risks here, then he'll get this done because I don't think Redzovic wants loads more of this. He looked fairly spent in the corner to me. He's only a few feet away from me. And there was just a few little distress signals coming out there. <laughs> he's standing in range there, Fifer. He's standing in range for no reason. And Redzovic just throws that right hand in it. He's managed to just clip in behind the back of the guard. Again, looking for the right hand. Redzovic managed to ride that one okay. That was a decent shot, and then just bangs him back into the corner. He's trying to move his head here, Redzovic. Good uppercut there from Pfeiffer. And it's those kinds of exchanges where Redzovic can be a little bit dangerous himself. And looking for that right hand, Pfeiffer. He's in the pocket there, he's well within punching range. Left hand coming back from Redzovic. Looking for the uppercut. Landed it, but not absolutely clean there, Pfeiffer. And that's a decent one-two again. And Redzovic not back into the ropes. And he just begun to lift into the ropes a little bit there. And Pfeiffer, if he puts some real pressure on here, I think it can maybe force the referee to jump in. And then just steps off. It's for a wild right uppercut there, Pfeiffer. That wasn't too close to landing. If he turns a screw here in the last 30, 40 seconds, Pfeiffer, and I think, and he doesn't want any more of this, and the corner should, they should do what he asks here. He's 42 years old, and he's, he's given it a good crack in the first five rounds, and the corner just signaling to Dave Paris that their man is retiring. I think they may be saying that there's uh, an injury to the to the right hand, and the doctor will come in and have a, a quick look. Let's just have a glimpse of some of the action towards the end of that round. And this is what really discouraged them from taking the fight any further. That's the fight for corner. I think they just realised. They've just been told that the fight is over. The referee waves it off, and he gets the win. But I tell you what, he'll have learned something from this. He was caught plenty of times there by Adnan Redzovic, more times than he should have been really. And it's an injury to the right hand, he's saying there, Redzovic. I'm not going to argue with him, but I think I think the tank was empty anyway. He had his moment, putting his man down in the third round. And it was a big moment. But it's a win for Pfeiffer, ultimately. But as I say, he will have learned more in that fight than he has done in all of his previous six combined. European belt he's walked into the ring that will go round his waist that might get him a top 15 ranking with the WBO not be too worried about any of that he's a mile off world seat it's early days
Ladies and Gentlemen, ein großer Applaus für unsere Kämpfer. Und schwer zu erkennen in der sechsten Runde, in the sixth round with TKO. Eric!